Hey everybody, this is Alex. Welcome back. First up, yeah, this is the first official test I'm doing on this channel, comparing the new MacBooks. And we're gonna be doing all sorts of comparisons, right? But we're gonna start out with a JavaScript in browser test. A nice little softball to kick things off. So right now we've got the MacBook M1 Pro. This is the 14 inch model right here, 32 gigs of RAM. Not that that matters for this particular test, but let's take a look at the specs here. This is the six performance and two efficiency cores model. And we're doing this against the M1 MacBook Air from last year. What's interesting about this test is that the MacBook Air really destroyed all my other machines in this particular test. So we're gonna see if it can catch up or keep up with the new M1 Pro. Maybe it can, maybe it can't. Let's find out. So I'm gonna go to a speedometer two and I'm using Safari, so this is the native browser here. And if you have a keen eye, you might notice that I am on Monterey and I've just updated today. So both of these are on the exact same operating system, same version, same patches, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Let's start this test. So I'm gonna kick things off by clicking this button and it's gonna go run through these tests in the browser. Now Safari in the past for me has shown to be much faster uh, than Chrome. So we're gonna test Chrome as well, but I wanna see the score in Safari because that's probably gonna be the highest score. All right, now while it's running, I can take a second to explain what Speedometer does for those of you that are not familiar. And I'll do this quickly. And for those of you that are familiar, bear with me for a second. Basically, Speedometer tests a browser's web app responsiveness by timing simulated user interactions. It runs a bunch of to-do applications written in different frameworks, and it benchmarks user actions like adding and completing and removing to-do items from the list using to-do applications written in pure JavaScript, ES6, ES5, 2015, Angular, old Angular JS, Vue, React, and a bunch of other ones. So some of the most popular frameworks in the world are being tested here in this benchmark. Pretty cool, huh? Ho, 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 oh, this is gonna be a quick one. Okay, so I cannot believe this, but the MacBook Air M1 has a score of 273, whereas the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip has a score of 244, a lower score. Now that took <laughs> barely any time at all. So I'm gonna click that test again button just to make sure this was not a fluke. And uh, let's see what happens. There's one more test I wanna run, and that was suggested by one of you commenters. Thank you so much for those folks that comment down below and provide suggestions. A lot of these tests are actually based off of your suggestions. And we are pretty consistent here. 274 on the M1, 246 on the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. What's happening here, folks? I thought we were supposed to get a faster performance over here. Now I also do have the M1 Max right here in a 16 inch machine. We'll have to test that out as well. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, we're gonna be doing a bunch of these tests. There is one more thing I wanna do and I wanna run this same exact test in Chrome. So I'm not expecting this test to be faster than the previous test, but let's see how it compares relative to Safari. Oh, staring at this is giving me a headache. Okay, we got a score for the M1 and it's finished first. 264 for the M1, we're still waiting for this one, 256. So Chrome did a little bit better on the M1 Pro, but a little bit worse on the M1. However, the M1 MacBook Air still wins this one. And I just got a comment earlier today saying, please don't compare with the M1 because uh, I don't wanna be disappointed. Well, guess what? This is actually a good test for the M1. Another commenter recommended Jetstream. So it's another benchmark test. Now this one tests JavaScript and WebAssembly in the browser. It's a suite focused on the most advanced web applications. It rewards browsers that start up quickly, execute code quickly, and run smoothly. I like all those things. Let's start the test. This test does take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna chop up the video so you don't have to watch that. Also, this test is a little more complete because it does WebAssembly, whereas the other test, Speedometer, only does JavaScript. This one does WebAssembly. So if you're doing things like Blazor uh, and other WebAssembly things, you might be interested in this test. What other WebAssembly things are there? I've only used Blazor, so I don't know. Okay, this time, the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip wins by a little bit. 198 is the score here, and 189 on the M1. 
And if you're curious, I'm going to scroll down the individual test results. You can check that out if you want to slow down the video. There was the M1 Pro and here is the M1. All right, not bad, I guess, but let's check this out in Safari. Go ahead and start that. I don't need to do them at the same time and start this one. All right, now a little side note about JetStream 2. This one runs 64 different subtests. Uh, WSL, Unipoker, Uglify.js, TypeScript. I'm not gonna name 64 of them. You can go to the website and check it out. I'll link to it down below, in fact. Um, a pretty comprehensive set of tests. So let's see. Whoa! Again, the MacBook Air 1 wins. 246 on the JetStream 2 test for the M1 MacBook Air and 230 for the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. What is going on? Not too bad, MacBook Air, not too bad. I'll scroll down for the individual tests so you can check that out. Here we go, there's both of them. All right, folks, that's been it for today. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a like, and watch this next video for more tests. See you next time.